Hello, you're watching Base Shade Highlight, a simple guide to painting miniatures. In this video, I'm going to paint the Red Skull from Marvel United. I've already primed him white, so let's get right to it. I'm starting with a base coat of olive green for his jacket. You might notice the overspray onto the head. I'm going to use that to my advantage later on. Next I'll paint the skull a nice bright red. You can see that overspray becomes a nice shadow. I'm only using an airbrush because I'm lazy and have way too many things to paint. You can achieve the same results with a normal brush in a little more time. Moving on to a paintbrush, I paint all the leather parts black, as well as the base. I'll add a mid-tone to the coat with a lighter green. It is a different color than the olive green I used earlier, even though their names are the same. This one is from the model color line of paints. I'm aiming for any parts that would be hit by an overhead light. I'll put them under my lamp while I'm painting to help point them out. By applying a mix of the two greens, I can reinforce some of the shadows.
A few transitions are too hard, so I soften them by wet blending the mid-tone with the green mix. First, I add the dark green over the darker part of the model, then the light green, and gently mix the two while they are still wet. My highlight color will be ivory mixed with green. I'm edge highlighting when I can, using paint on the side of the brush rather than the tip. This will follow Ray's contours more cleanly. Jumping back to black, I prep all of his buttons and get the backstrap I missed earlier. There's one part of the coat I want to be brighter, so I quickly touch it up. Onto the face, red and orange are very see-through colors, so I add yellow to help cover the shadow on the chin. I begin highlighting the face and top of the head with a red-orange mix. followed by orange. Then I strengthen the shadow around the base of the skull and under his cheeks. A little bit of yellow will really make some of his features pop. I should have darkened his eyebrows and sockets earlier, but I'll do that now. Then 
then I have to do a few touch-ups to get things the way I want them. Next, I'm picking out the eyes and teeth. I find that off-whites look better than pure white, so I'm using ivory. A quick wash with black will give them depth. Normally I avoid metallic colors, but I'm using it here to accent the belt buckles and buttons. He's almost done now. All that's left is to highlight the black leather. My mid-tone is a dark gray. Following that, I mix the mid-tone with a light gray highlight. Finally, just light gray to pick out the highest areas. I use edge highlighting again for the belts. The last step is the base. Other than the browns, I try to reuse colors from my palette to help tie the whole model together. I wash all of the grays with a black shade, including the belts and gloves. This mutes them a bit, but also gives them more depth.
and a brown wash for the dirt to finish him off. Here he is complete. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.